Well, I want to see where Toronto is going to play their um, things. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Toronto Blue Jays. Crystal Falls will host the Blue Jays game. First pitch coming your way well, down. There they are in their 90 jersey. No, just about set now. And on the hill is the point, Alex Mendoa. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Of course, that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical no that the ball is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged. But it makes those plays and help you get through the end. And now it's on that Rosario. Next offering upstairs. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid of being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming. That's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with a big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. Next offering is in for a strike. Swung on, belted. That one's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. And now the Blue Jays will get their initial shot. No score. You're watching. Bottom of the first. And pitching here today, Tristan McKenzie. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool him. He's going to pitch the contact, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him. And he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire. So he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many batters. Not the Agu Next up for the Blue Jays. Swing and a ball lift in left field. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. And now for the Jays, Carlos Delgado. This guy has turned into a beast. Swing and a miss. And the count even at two. There's a swing and a drive. That's back.
hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitter. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Jimmy Rollins stands in for the Philly. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, I mean... Nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And down on strikes he goes. Yeah, there's two away. So you know that's gotta be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not gonna compromise. So take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Billy's down in order. And now the Padres get their Thank first you. opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. I think I turned up the sun. We go to the bottom of the first. And starting in this one, Aaron Dola. What do you have on him, Sagi? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponent. Now one foul off. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. You've got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way if you're a little bit early, hit it on the ballpark, a little late, off the up. And a one-two again. Ripped out of line. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's the one away. The hot zone ten. Up to the next up for the Padres. Swings and misses. Two away down. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, the first real election. And now it's going to be Adrian Gonzalez. The punch out there. Jake Cronenworth. The 
goes underneath it. And the inning is over. You know what? I'm going to pitch these. As we go to the top of the fourth and digging in for Philadelphia, Jimmy Rollins. And a 1 1. And another ball. There's a strike. It's good for me to stop in the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a spell on the base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Here's Bryce Harper. Ready to go, bottom four. Up now the Padre leadoff man, Tony Gwynn. Base hit. Tim Brown third headed for the plate. Just ahead of 
Right. Oh, well, I tried. 